Quick, let's go. Quick, come on, Jack. Um, uh, Jack, come here, quick. What are we getting? Pigs. Right, how much space do you think they need? Two. Lots of space. Little pig. Is that enough room? You're the little pig. No. Legally, a pig pen needs to be no smaller than the length of the pig. But I'm following Hugh's advice and giving them a whopping 70 square meters. This is the area for the pigs. Is that enough space for the pigs? Yeah. Now listen, you know they're going to be sleeping out here, okay? And they're going to be getting nice and fat, okay? And once they get nice and fat, guess what we're going to do to them? Eat them? Yeah. We're going to have the most amazing bacon sandwich. Ready? Stop there, Jack. Look how much room they've got. See, I can see Tana's face thinking, this is my, this, this is my garden. It was looking very pretty and very lovely, um, but Gordon's very persuasive. The only way to get this into the ground is actually think it's anti-war Thompson's head. <laughs> <laughs> the pig pen is nearly ready, so we're off to see top Berkshire breeders, Christine and Kevin, to bring home the bacon. Look at that. They are beautiful. These are rare, unique, and the flavour of these things are extraordinary. Oh, these are fantastic pork pigs. Uh, Do you want to yeah. see some little ones? I'd love to yeah, see the little ones. Come yes. on, then, let's see some little ones. We bring them in. Mama! <gasps> okay, oh! Leo, quick. Oh, look at this. There you go. Oh, wow, it's two days old, Lily. Megan, you're attached to that one already, aren't you? Dear, oh dear. No. Oh dear. Hello. Oh, hello. Now you are a very luscious bacon sandwich now. Oh. Look at you. <gasps> Look at them. They're, they're beautiful. They're very cute, aren't they? No. The Berkshire pig would be a good choice of pig for Gordon because it is that little bit smaller, but the Berkshire is a particularly friendly pig and you can feel safe to have it around children. We won't be taking these little piggies home. They need to stay with their mother until they're eight weeks old. Now we have to decide which two we're going to have. I want to serve pork as the final meal of the series. So working backwards from the optimum slaughtering age, Christine has recommended two 12-week-old girls. Now, you need to think about when you want to send these pigs off to the butcher. You don't want an overfat pig. No. No, 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 no. But you need yeah. nice, rounded bottoms. Yes. This one here, the, you know, two, two... Yeah, that's a nice so good one, thing. Do you think? Yeah. That one and that one, yes, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Should we put them in the back? Oh, they're sleeping. Yeah, right. Tony, I'll get the... Um, where's the board? Watch out, guys. Let's go, guys. Hello. Stand back, because... Go on. Here we go. Yeah! to be the perfect way from a chef's point of view to start with a raw ingredient, nurse it, wow, then eat it. You can't get any better than that. I want you to start thinking about some names. Bangers way, and okay? mash, Daddy, that's it, bangers I and mash. Trini and Susanna. Yeah, one's got a fat ass and one's got small nipples.